Good morning, Azeroth. Good morning, Azeroth. It is Neil, your friendly warrior tank from Medivh, and I help people learn achievements, and this is Good Morning, Azeroth, for Wednesday, the 18th of January, 2017. Neil's attempt to bring in the news from all around the world of Warcraft, and Nighthold is out. Nighthold is out. Uh, I did not have a Good Morning, Azeroth yesterday, because I was watching streams all day of people working their way through the Nighthold on various difficulties, just so I could get an idea for what my raid team will be in store for this weekend. We raid on Friday night and Saturday night and am looking forward to it. Uh, so just wanted to, to tell you today where you might can find some, before there are guides out there, where you might can find some uh, video previews, I guess if you want to call it that, of what is in store for you in the night hold. Uh, first off, I uh, do want to mention that you probably want to go pick up the quest from the blacksmith in Dalaran uh, as soon as you log in on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, there is a quest. If you already have a legendary, you should be able to pick up the quest from the blacksmith to begin the process of upgrading your legendary from 910 to 940. Now, if you get a legendary after Tuesday, after yesterday, the 17th, uh, that legendary will be nine, low, high level 940. But uh, if you had one, earlier previously it is i level 910 uh and they've given you a quest to upgrade it to 940 it requires 50 essences of amethyst and those essences of amethyst drop from the nighthold raid they drop from emissary uh chest they drop from your weekly mythic plus cash uh and there are a couple of other places that you could pick them up uh they seem to be dropping fairly regularly in the Nighthold Raid for those that are doing that. Uh, it seems that um, probably within a week or two, if you're doing your emissaries, if you're able to clear Nighthold on some difficulty, uh, you will be able to get those 50 essences within a week uh, or two and be able to upgrade that legendary. And the quest is repeatable, so if you have multiple legendaries, you can upgrade them all if you keep, uh, keep working at it. Uh, now, it is uh, notable that you, the Essences of Amentul are boss locked, so you can only kill the boss on one difficulty per loot per week and loot them for the Essences of Amentul. So if you clear it on uh, normal, for instance, you would not get any Essences on Heroic uh, if you started working on that, or if you did it in LFR before you did it in normal, or vice versa. Once you uh, loot the boss on any difficulty, that is the last time you'll be able to get um, Essences of Amentul from that boss for that week. So keep that in mind. Um, and so what I was doing yesterday was watching the streams of Towelly and Quinn, uh, and would just say, um, so if you want to get a good idea for what you might be in store for, uh, Towelly, Quinn, my friend Tetronin, uh, all had streams yesterday on, um, what, uh, them running through and clearing various difficulties. Uh, this is Towley's page, so Towley is T-O-W-E-L-L-I-E-E, -E -E. uh, that's Twitch TV slash Towley. I've gone to his video section, so these are all the videos on demand, uh, his past broadcast. Um, and this is the, the what I watched yesterday, the Nighthold release, viewer raid, Nighthold in the AM. Uh, it starts uh, a couple of hours in. He It seems like he was streaming for a little while before uh, he got to the raid, so uh, you might want to skip a couple of hours in if you want to start to see the bosses. Uh, I would just you know skip ahead every 15 minutes or so till you see him start to go into the raid. Um, and they pretty much face rolled normal. Um, as I recall, they um, uh, one shot Scorpy Ron, they one shot um, the Chronomatic Anomaly, they one shot Trilliax, they face pulled Spellblade Alluriel and um, tried to reset her. She doesn't reset, uh, and they killed her in the hallway uh, as they were trying to reset her. Uh, they died to Croesus once um, with his slam ability and then killed Croesus. Uh, they one shot um, the, 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 our friend uh, the, the Tychondrius. They one shot uh, the, 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 the Star Augur. Uh, and then they had some fun with High Botanist Teleran, or whatever his name is. Uh, in addition to uh, six, seven, eight wipes on the High Botanist, uh, they had some problems with um, some, some disconnects. Uh, so the High Botanist was the one that took the longest time. Uh, then they went up and I think they one or two shot um, 
Alessand, and then I think they three shot Gul'dan. So if you want to see um, all of the fights, uh, they are in there. Uh, he said they were an average of 880, 882 eye level uh, over the time, course of the raid. Uh, so uh, most uh, sort of normal teams, heroic teams, may not be that well geared. Uh, so it might not be a good indication of what you will see when you fight. But I think you'll get an idea of the abilities uh, that the bosses are doing. They do talk strats, uh, at least strats for a pug group uh, in that run. His stream last night, the heroic knighthold uh, O Payden Tank, um, they, his guild group went in on heroic and I think they one shot uh, Scorpion Ron, they one shot Chronom, they two shot Chronomotic Anomaly, uh, they one shot uh, Triliax, they one shot Spellblade Allurial, uh, and then and then they one shot Croesus, and then they went to uh, High Botanist and wiped several times on High Botanist before they went and um, eventually killed High Botanist on Heroic and then went into Normal and killed several of the bosses on Normal difficulty, uh, one-shotting all of them uh, that they killed, and I think they killed six on Normal. I think they didn't kill High Botanist on Normal, but they did kill Tychondrius on Normal. Uh, they will be back tonight uh, completing the normal run and perhaps doing everything but Gul'dan on the heroic is what, what they hoped to do. Uh, and I would just say that, that uh, there are less um, explanations of what they'll be doing on the fight, but you do see raid markers, um, you do see uh, sort of an execution of strategies if you've read any of the guides um, for how they're handling uh, certain abilities. Um, so if you know a little thing about the fights, you probably understand the um, strategies that they're employing. Um, and because they're heroic fights, they're not really face rolling uh, those fights. And you get to see a, a little bit more of the mechanics and how they're going to play out over the course of the fight. Uh, so would recommend, um, in, in light of the fact that I don't think there are a lot of guides out there at the moment, uh, finding a streamer that has some uh, video on demand of the Nighthold, if you'd like to get an idea of what you're going to get yourself into uh, as you go into the Nighthold. Uh, so, if this helped you out, if this video helped you out, go ahead and like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, keep up with Neil and all the ways, comment below there's something you'd like me to cover better or differently we'll see if we can fit that in keep up with me i'm in all of the places that you might expect to find me twitch tv the neils i'm streaming live to the internet right now several people watching i'm also uh i'm also on open raid that's where you can find all of my events achievement runs open raid.zergid.com i'm also on facebook and i'll friend you back i'm on twitter and i'll follow you back i'm on youtube and i Subscribe back to content creators. I'm in a guild. Shatteredfates.com is the website. Shattered Fates on Medivh is the Alliance Guild. Shattered Fates on Exodar is the Horde Guild. Keep up with this. Keep up with this. Keep up with this. And I'm on Patreon. That's where people are helping Neil. Help other people learn some more achievements, and we appreciate them. Regnava, Zuki, and the Random One, Neil. Adafluzi, Tender Mulva, Ocean Captain, Holy Fox, Carl, Lucky Bee, Infinitron, Darla, Saika, Mystery Patron, Shigan, Fentheria, Equins, Ucha, Morasha, Petsy, The Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coconutty, Jorfi, Azurea, Nosy J. Divad, Shimei, Buggle, Delta Nor, Tiger Song, Mystical, Zelo, Kalai, and Jedi. They are helping Neil help other people earn more achievements. We appreciate them. Uh, Y'all have fun storming the castle today. And remember, fire is still bad. This X-Pack, y'all have a great one.